cool, what's gooey, what's happening? Let's see what these people are talking about now. When Ethan and I first got married, I was really shocked at like, the differences in how we grew up and how I would make like a movie reference or start singing a song and he'd say, I have no clue what that is, where is that from? And it was just a good reminder to me that even though we both grew up in conservative homeschool families, people do things so different. Where is that quote? First of all, these are some very pretty people. Look at their hair, they could be hair models. Have you seen his hair? It's all shiny and beautiful. I took him to his first basketball game. I took him to his first time in the movies. Since we've gotten married, it's been a long process of like introducing him to all these different things and just like letting him get his feet wet and see what he thinks about stuff. Olivia has introduced me to some TV shows. She watched more TV growing up than I did. We didn't ever watch TV shows. One of the big ones that we've been watching lately is Friends. He is just, he's just really cute. I mean, he doesn't know much about the world or whatever, but he's really, I don't know. Wow, so it is possible to be on this earth and not know about everything that's going on exactly at that moment. What's hot, what's popping, what's in, what's counseled, what's not, and still grow up to be a fine young gentleman and be alive. I think that's all we need to learn from this. Like you can still be alive, prospering in the land of the living and not be chasing all these things that are going on and just do you. This is, this is a prime example of doing you this person did not well don't know if he didn't care because i've not seen everything yet but he's just living his life and he's managing frank he grew up on a farm lots to do on a farm i mean these animals hey they need they need treatment they need care they need food it is a 24 7 thing we're going to do things the way we choose to do them and we allow a lot of different things in our home that his parents wouldn't and that's just a personal choice when we got married and we moved in here and you know we had alcohol in the home that was a big source of tension we'd want to go out for ice cream and and that would that would create conflict because then it would be like well you shouldn't be eating sugar and we'd be like well we're adults we can make that decision ourselves it looks funny to see you drink out a cup that says hers by the time i was 20 years old i had never had a coke before i really had no idea what it would taste like I made a video about this, how kids, I don't even remember which video it was. I'll put it up here somewhere. But I did a video about how kids learn how to eat and drink certain things and learn bad eating habits and behavior through whatever they've learned at home. And if you restrict, but if you restrict them at home too much, they might go elsewhere to other birthday parties and things and be like, what is that colorful thing? It's called Jelly Babies. And they'll just try and explore everything because obviously they don't have that freedom at home. Now with him, not being able to watch television, not even having ever gone out to the movies, and he'd never gone out to have ice cream or anything. Maybe he wasn't even allowed to go to these birthday parties or whatever. So whatever restrictions his parents put on him in the household, that is the restrictions that he had on his life. Like, there was no way of him getting out of that. I'm just I'm just fascinated by this really it's kind of like how sometimes you know some some people in the Western world go into the deepest forest in like Africa or like South America and find this whole community of people who have never seen a camera before they're just kind of living life as they know it encapsulated within within the forest and their own world and their own ideas and they're not curious to go out and explore and everything but people are always curious to see how they're living they're doing just fine they don't know what's going on out there they're living just fine they're having babies just fine they're delivering them by themselves with whatever knowledge they have wherever they acquired it from it's like everything we need to live in this world and live a good peaceful fruitful life we already have and we had it when we popped out of the womb it was already there it is human instinct it is human nature it's already within us we don't need no Instagram, no YouTube, no Facebook, no Twitter, no TikTok, no nothing, no Snapchat, nothing. We don't need all the social media and all the social constructs actually to teach us who we are supposed to be and how we're supposed to live life. So this is very refreshing and fascinating to see. At the same time, it's very strange. And his parents must have known what they were sheltering him from. I don't think it was like they didn't know about the movies and this and that and that and what coke tastes like and stuff like that. They must have known. They must have known and just wanted to shelter their son from all that. But yeah, this is mad fascinating. Very fascinating. I took a video of it. I'll remember it. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first coke. 
That's really good. <laughs> hey, cheers. I liked it. I really did like it. I bet you I did. saved my little can. I'm gonna like write the date on it. And 20 years old, my first coat. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Oh, TLC. <laughs> TLC, TLC be bugging. TLC is mad funny. They're coming out with all these different shows. TLC is doing very good for themselves, honestly. There is nothing these people will show me that is going to surprise me in any shape or form. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this reaction. It's a very short one. I thought it was very interesting to see. Make sure you hit bump stump as a zone to that subscribe button and hit notification bell whilst you're at it. See you in the next one. Make time for a glorious life. It's time to start living it right. Bye.